So for me, the practices of clear light, practices of great perfection, our nature of mind, consciousness is most important. And Salavu is the, the essence of that teaching in the form of mantra and music. So I was very inspired to create a melody and to put together the concept of concert. And I have wonderful people who basically made it manifest. And I'm so happy about it. And I know so many people have helped. I wanted to thank all of you who have been part of it. And uh, also, uh, just you know that there are so many people who have watched the live concert, have moved, opened their heart, uh, I think the music brings them in a different place in openness in their life and exposure in their life in the world and uh, those who are not able to watch it live I think this video will be wonderful to watch not only watch but practice with it listen every day that's what I do and I hope that we in the future we will be able to organize another uh, true concert tour and I hope you will able to not miss that time.
Um, this tour was uh, very, very special to me. Uh, all my life, uh, I have performed many times, but this one is so healing, and um, it really um, connect me with the sp spirituality uh, so deep within me, and um, being with all the practitioner and followers of Rinpoche, and uh, sharing chant together, um, it really um, inspired me to practice more.
When I was, uh, I think it's the uh, age of 14, I was a school student. At that time, I just heard someone is playing flute uh, around nearby my house. You know? And that day, I just followed that sound. It really fascinated me, you know. Then I followed that sound and someone playing flute from some house. And he came from the 
remote area, village, and it was just fabulous, you know. And I just took, I borrowed that flute, and I started to play from that day. But that, that, that day, I couldn't make any sound from that flute, but also, I never give up. Just it going on, and today I'm here. <laughs> yeah.
So we have an institute, Lishu Institute, is in here, and it is uh, founded by Tenzi Wongya Rinpoche and uh, myself. Yes, we began 2006, and uh, I'm working for the Lishu Institute. Lishu Institute is especially for the uh, Western students uh, who are able to come to India and learn more about Bon and the Dharma.
I learned cham dance in Dolbo. Dolbo is a northern part of uh, Nepal. It's an ancient monastery, the Bon Buddhism tradition, one of the oldest monasteries, like a thousand years old. And I learned that monastery. 
I was 11 years old, almost 12. I learned with my uh, great uncle, his great monk, practitioner, he's like a yogi, he's a very high realization, he's a very famous teacher, master in Northern Nepal, Bon Buddhism, other Buddhism, many people, he has thousands of students, and he taught me in a charm dance. Also, I learned from uh, some monk from many monasteries, as like I said, I have two teachers from charm dance. I learned that since like age 11, then I perform <clears throat> many years, every year, like a teenager until like 20, every year I, I perform a lot of people gathering, performing the ceremony, charm dance, uh, many years. deities, uh, mountain goat, gods, and uh, it's very common in our culture, keeping in touch with the spirits, making them happy, so they, we believe there will be less uh, natural disaster. Come look.